How are you today? If you hear panting in the background, it is my dog Bandit. Everybody say hi to Bandit. I am filming this in June, trying to get ahead of the game a little bit because we're still having construction at my house. This is a video for my year 2017 for July, even though I'm filming it in June. And um, anyway, it's really hot outside and so I brought him in because it's hot outside. And he's really hot. You can tell by how much he's panting. So, okay. We're here for uh, my book review for July and I have a kind of a large stack of books and I will give you the specific, title, specific titles and authors in the uh, book club file in the file section of the My Year 2017 Facebook group. If you're not a member of the group but you would like to be to get things like that then you can join it by following the link in the description. Check out check out the description. The link to the My Year 2017 Facebook group is there. My other Facebook group, my Etsy store if you want to support my channel. I also have a tip jar if you'd like to support my channel but you don't really want to buy anything. So, and my happy mail address, all that. Check out the description because there's a lot of information down there. All right, that being said, here is my book review. Category for this month would be art and education books. I know that's kind of a broad category but I mean something specific. So, at least four of these books are sort of small coffee table books of specific artists that I admire their work. Um, this first one, you not might not recognize the name, uh, Mucha, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not positive. Uh, but you would probably recognize some of his work, some of these images. You've probably seen these before. I actually picked this one up in a secondhand store in Santa Cruz, California. And I love, I love, I've actually seen this image on the internet and I love this image. Some of these are really inspiring. I also have two books by Richard Diebenkorn um, showcasing some of his work. He had an exhibit at, in San Francisco a few years back. Um, with his paintings and artwork and when I was there I stopped in the museum gift shop and I bought both of these. I could have probably got them a little cheaper online but I really really wanted these books and they're both very inspiring to look through and to get um, inspiration for composition, color, um, form, uh, any of those things. They're just so inspiring to sit and flip through these um, and just make my muse want to sing and paint and draw. So I love these two. These are from Richard D. McCorn, Attractions on Paper and From the Model. These are This is all um, like sketches and things from different model, model sittings he did. And then this one is Matisse. I don't know anybody who doesn't know Matisse. You must live under a rock. <laughs> I don't mean to offend anybody, but holy cow. So this tells about him and his work. Um, but it also has, I mean, look at this, his writing, his work. This is a really cute little book. I really love, again, so inspiring and I just love flipping through them. And these are, these are literally off my bookshelf. I love these books. So I love those. And then this one I bought after I watched the BBC series, uh, Simon Shama's The Power of Art. It's um, a multi-part series. I do think it is on the internet somewhere. I want to say YouTube but I'm not going to swear to that and I'm not going to put any links but you could you could Google this title because this is the title of the video series and to watch it. This is the book that accompanies the series and this I actually um, watched the series as part of a class I took and I fell in love with it so much I bought the book um, and the book is fascinating. It tends, it tends it tells you some of the history of art and different artists and it's just, again, full of so much inspiration. Bernini, Rembrandt, um, Caravaggio, there's so many, so many artists in here. Um, 
Turner. There's so many in here, like I can't even name them all, Van Gogh. Um, pictures, text, it tells about them, tells about their lives. Um, it's just, I can't even say enough about it. So if you want to be an artist, if you love art, if you want to know more about it, then learn. Um, you don't have to buy these books. You could just rent them from the library and read them and then send them back. There's nothing wrong with that. So think about getting some art history books, um, some books showcasing different masters and their work. They provide you with a lot of great inspiration and motivation to create your own artwork. So think about looking into these and picking up a few of them and reading them and maybe adding a couple of your favorites to your collection. That's it for this month, this week, or well, this, <laughs> that's it for today. Um, <laughs> it's it for today. Um, this is my book review and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to check out your local library for art and inspiration books. And the most important thing, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.